Chris Bukowski of Emerging Civil War, and I'm standing on the banks of the Tennessee River, one of my favorite off-the-beaten-path Civil War sites everywhere. And I want to thank historian Greg Biggs for being the person to bring me out here for the first time. Over my left shoulder is the site of Fort Henry, looking much as it did in uh, February of 1862 because it was flooded during the battle there. Uh, the fort was a five-sided fort uh, built of earthen fortifications uh, in uh, May of 1861. Took about, about 10 acres of land to cover. Uh, it was built by the state's attorney general, Daniel Donaldson, who was appointed a brigadier general by Isham Harris, the state's governor. And he first selects a site along the Cumberland River, uh, the fort that bears his name, Fort Donaldson. And then he came over here to the Tennessee River to se select the site. And this becomes Fort uh, Henry, named after Gustavus Adolphus Henry Sr., Tennessee senator. And uh, so these two forts are going to work in concert to protect these rivers that uh, really provide uh, access into the heart of Tennessee. Tennessee and uh, uh, eventually aiming toward the Deep South. So Ulysses S. Grant sets his sights on these forts and in early February on the 4th and 5th he's going to land two divisions of troops to the north of here and move down in this direction in an attempt to envelope the fort. But uh, his naval counterpart uh, uh, Admiral Foote decides to come down and start bombarding, bombarding the fort. And as he does, his, uh, his uh, fire is so effective that it really disrupts things. The other thing, of course, that's at play at this time is the rain. It is raining torrentially, so that makes that earthen fortification sloppy and muddy, and it makes the river rise. And so the fort really becomes flooded out, and uh, the commander there, Brigadier General Tillman, will surrender to Foote before Grant even gets there. Uh, and that will become the first real key um, victory here in the Western Theater. And so then Grant will then set his sights just a little to the east at Fort Donaldson and he'll march his army over there and get ready to try to do the same thing over. Uh, Foote will have less success at Donaldson than he does here, uh, but this really is a great, great um, moment for both men because it really does a lot to establish the importance of Army-Navy cooperation. Because remember, they didn't actually have to work together. It took the good graces of commanders in both branches to do that. And so uh, Grant really understands the value of naval cooperation, which he establishes right here in this campaign. So a great little spot here in the land between the lakes recreation area and uh, administered by the Department of Agriculture. This site's also got some input from the National Park Service, so good federal cooperation going on there. You can come down here in a little dirt road and overlook the river and to take a look at the former site. And uh, it's a great little spot off the beaten path. For Emerging Civil War, I'm Chris Bukowski. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you online and on the battlefield.